It is true. What's true? That on Dynamite, yes, Tony okay. Khan is airing the Jack Perry CM Punk footage from All In. Yes, he actually is. It is not bait and switch. No. I know. I know that. See, here's the thing. When I first saw the graphic saying the Young Bucks were going to show footage from All In, I immediately thought, okay, well, you know, the Young Bucks are heel characters. It's going to be some goofy thing or whatever. But then I asked, and I'm not talking like one person, multiple people. Well, I, I like, definitely, I, I can say that I definitely got it 100% confirmed. It is 100%. They are airing the footage. Yeah. And uh, Tony was very upset with CM Punk's interview. And uh, apparently I was told that uh, he, a long time ago, wanted to air this footage. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, he did not. And uh, now, I guess because of the timing and the interview and what CM Punk said, he is going to air it. And, uh, you know, we've, we've heard many sides of the story about what happened. And, uh, you know, we're going to see Wednesday. But I think it's safe to say that if it were the story that CM Punk told, we I don't know why been, Tony would air the footage. We would not be airing it. I think that the, I think look, we'll, we'll have a lot to say Wednesday night. And I don't want to say too much now because it's probably not prudent until we see it. Because, like, again, like my immediate thoughts were... Um, my immediate thoughts were this, this, my first thought was, this is, this is a uh, WCW with Eric Bischoff. You know what I mean? Where they, that's, that was my original thought. And then, and I thought, okay, let's think about the situation and Vince McMahon. Okay. Vince, you know, what would Vin, Vince McMahon in the nineties, the Vince McMahon that I talked to, okay. In a situation like this, or even of the two thousands or even the 2010s for that matter. And if somebody did this, in fact, Punk himself, after the Colt Cabana interview, what would he do? And it's like, he would not go on television and do it, but he sure as hell would send um, photos or a press release or video or put it and put it up on his website. Okay, he would not do it on TV, but he would certainly release it. Um, if he thought that somebody, um, you know, I mean, look, when Punk talked about the, um, you know, it's funny, you know, how it go, all goes full circle. When Punk talked about the giant-sized, um, what was it, the, uh, you know, thing on his butt that the staph infection and blah, blah, blah. You know that they freaking sent me all these photos of freaking CM Punk's, you know, tights showing that no bump in his tights from that period, you know, where, so he didn't have this giant thing, or at least that's what the, whether he did or he didn't, they sure as hell so, sent me photos to make, to, to prove that he didn't, because that is what they would do. Um, Tony did not send footage to people back then. I believe Vince would have, okay, as far as if, if the story out was a lie, okay, that's what I would say. If it was true, he, of course, wouldn't do anything, um, but we'll have to wait and see. But, I mean, as far as doing it on television, look, my gut was bad idea, um, but when we see it, um, whatever. You know, it's the funny thing is, is you know, on, on uh, you know, after Punk did the interview, you know, I obviously contacted many many people in the company and the general belief the general i mean the general thing was we're moving past that we don't even want to deal with it you know it was like you know some of it's true some of it's not true but whatever you know don't want to deal with it you know it's not doesn't you know we got to move forward and then here we are and um you know i mean but the, tony's the boss it was not from tony tony never said that ever you know other people said that and um here we go um, and then we'll see what the footage says. And, uh, but yeah, I will presume that, that this is only, this is airing because there's proof that what punk said wasn't true. And you know, it's, that's the thing. The funny part is again, is that my gut is, is that even if that's the case, people will pretend that it's true. Well, I mean, they can do that if they want to, but the, the footage <laughs> The security camera footage is the security camera footage. Well, it is. It is the footage so, that got him. It yes. is the footage, and also the other thing is, it is the footage that got him fired. Yes. There, the people who saw this footage, and they were one of them was a friend of Punk's, Brian Danielson, and a couple of them were different people, you know, in the company. And there was uh, there was uh, a legal a legal a legal uh, group that watched the footage um, that was not even affiliated with AEW at all. There was an internal one that is affiliated that was affiliated with AEW. There was an external that was not, and they all watched the footage and they all recommended that Punk be fired. So we'll watch the footage and we'll see if we think that Punk should be fired. And um, now we'll there is one other thing. 
Yes. There is one other thing that I do not know the answer to, and mm-hmm. I have asked, and I still don't know the answer to it, and that is that, okay, CM Punk did an interview. He gave his side of the story. Mm-hmm. Tony got really angry about it. He wants to show the footage showing that Punk's side was not true. Yes. Now, there's another aspect of this story, and that is that uh, Tony Khan stated that I feared for my life. Yes. And CM Punk ridiculed that statement. And I don't know. I'm not sure exactly when that part of this happened. I'm not sure if that was during the Jack Perry incident or if that was a separate incident. And I'm not sure if footage of that exists. And if it does, I don't know if he's going to show that. And if it does not exist, I'm wondering if people will see the Jack Perry CM Punk footage and go, why in God's name did this guy say that he was scared for his life? So what, uh, that's the other thing. Why, that we why have would to, that? Uh, why, but why would that footage not be? Why, why would that footage not be there? The surveillance cameras were in that in the girl position. Okay, well, maybe they do have the footage. Or, no, I, I don't know if they. I can the just tell position. you this. I can just tell you this. Okay, what I know is, and this is not from anybody in particular, even though people are going to presume it is. What I know is that there, I don't even presume anything. There are people who have seen the CM Punk Jack Perry footage. Okay. 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 Like like people that were involved in it and were involved in the investigation. That these people have seen it. There are other people in the company who you probably would think have seen it who have not seen it. Okay. Now, from what I understand from the people who have seen it, they did not see the uh, CM Punk Tony Khan portion of this. Okay. So, I don't know if that means it doesn't exist or if it's a separate piece of footage or what, but I guess we'll find out more on Wednesday. Yeah. You know, the interesting thing, I don't know if I talked about this on Garrett's show uh, yesterday. Yesterday? Fuck, feels like a week ago. Anyway, um, there was someone who was not a wrestler who was there who was a witness to this who saw the, the punk thing and immediately went on social media and wrote something which I have not seen because they had it taken down immediately um, And the story that I heard of the reason why is because Jack Perry uh, Did not want it did not want this explanation even though the person's version of the story was be- Very beneficial to Jack Perry for whatever reason Because the version of the story was and we'll see that I saw this and you know It didn't happen any you know anything the way he said it and it was it was to defend Jack Perry, who did not want it defended for whatever reason. So there you go. Um, another thing, um, for whatever reason, is is in, in the uh, match of Secure Genesis today. Um, it was Jack Perry and um, Renderita against John Moxley and Shota Umino, which we'll talk about later. But in the match, Jack Perry was doing Young Bucks moves. Hmm. Interesting. Yep, he was doing locomotion German. He did that thing, you know how Nick always does, where he runs across the apron and kicks the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did, you know, like one right after, just just one spot. It was glaringly obvious, and that was all he did. And he didn't do it the rest of the match, but he did one thing, very clear as clear can be. So, for whatever, and of course, Matt on um, Wednesday did make a reference to scapegoat. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.